Hey you guys, Sean with Go Gloves here, and in today's video, I'm gonna run down everything that I would put in my dream baseball bag. Okay, so I know you guys are probably a lot like me and when you're just scrolling on YouTube, one of the most common videos that you'll see baseball accounts make is a what's in my baseball bag video. Now, I don't play baseball anymore so I can't really show you guys like what is in my baseball bag because I really don't have one put together right now. But because I don't play, I still keep up with all the gear and stuff like that. So if I was going to play today, that is what this video is going to be about. Everything that I would put as a player in my baseball bag. By the way, I'm actually taking this video idea from Fuzzy. So if you guys haven't seen his video uh, of a dream baseball bag, make sure you check his out. In his video, he put some stuff like a Supreme baseball glove, which is really cool in terms of like style points, but it's just not practical for me because it's not the highest quality gear. And that's what I would look for and a player so my video might be a little bit more realistic in terms of like the gear I would want as a player but if you guys have seen like the gloves behind me and stuff that I already collect you do know that I love style points so I'm also gonna go for a little bit of style combined with realistic quality options that uh, I would use as a player okay and with that out of the way now we'll just get into the actual gear so we'll start with the bag and in high school I actually used a Nike duffel bag I was a catcher so I had a ton of gear in there so like most kids can just get away with like a backpack or like a really small duffel bag if you're a PO but I'd have a pretty big Nike duffel bag to carry all my catcher's gear and stuff like that but honestly if I was to go back today and play I would probably want to be like a second baseman or something like that you know for my size and my taste in gloves as you can see behind me I really like infield gloves so I wouldn't want that huge Nike duffel bag again because I don't have all that catcher's gear that I need to carry around plus I already have a bag in my collection that I would get to use so that's going to be my Wilson A2000 American themed backpack so this bag is actually sort of new to the market I think Wilson came out with their backpacks a few years ago at least their a2000 version of their backpacks and the one I have has the American flag logo for the a2000 on the front and it's honestly a very versatile backpack so if I even just want to travel with it or not even play baseball with it you know it's very easy there's a computer sleeve for your laptop and other really helpful pockets that are just great for a daily backpack. The reason that I also chose this is because there's plenty of space and pockets for just a bunch of random things and then there's two clips on the outside that actually hold your glove from the wrist portion of it because you guys know that I love my gloves and I really want to take good care of them and the likelihood of you just like throwing your glove in the bag it's probably going to get crushed so I really like the feature on there with the little clips on the outside that have your gloves and especially they're readily accessible because you know the, the glove is the first thing that you pick up same with your bat which is also readily accessible with this bag so these clips are really cool features on there I'll show you guys a demonstration with some gloves clipped in there I also like how there's two clips on there because most players uh, do play a few positions so if you play like first base and pitcher you can have two gloves on there and you're all set to go the last thing that I already have on my bag actually is a custom a2k luggage tag like keychain type of thing so if you order a custom a2k you do get this little luggage tag on there so I just add up for a little bit of extra decoration okay and then the next thing that we will go over is my gloves so I'm gonna pick two gloves for my list because you know that's usually about what I'll have maybe a rainy day glove and then like a grill or gamer glove and for my glove I'm going to pick one that I don't even have and if you guys have seen my glove wish list video which is the one where I have like 25 gloves that I wanted to buy and this one that I'm going to pick is actually my grill it's my number one on that list and that is a Wilson a2000 100th year anniversary glove it is red black and white and then it comes in a really cool decorative uh, wooden a2000 box and then it has a leather top with a2000 imprinted on it it is really cool and a really awesome looking glove and it's something that like not a lot of people would have and that is really awesome for me and a glove that's something I look for like to be flashy and different on the field and just something to stand out with a glove that not many other people have okay and the next glove that I would pair with my grail glove is one that I already have and it's this Wilson a2k 1786 from Wilson premieres tournaments it's pro issued uh, with pro issued stamping so I don't know if it's actually pro issued as like a spring training glove that has given away to pros but it is pro issued stamping and usually those just mean that they're made with a little bit higher quality and more attention to detail so 
It's just a little detail that I really like in my gloves that sets it apart from every other glove on the field. Basically, this glove has super skin and some other details that I would basically just use as like a rainy day or a shag glove or maybe just something to catch with and that I can beat up a little bit more and not have to baby as much as like a grail glove that's really expensive. One more thing about this glove besides the super skin, which makes it really easy to clean, the palm is black leather, which makes dirt come out of it really easily. And also, if you have to re-dye black leather, it's something that you can match really easily compared to some other colors like a red or a blue so now that we're done with gloves we're going into bats and I'm only picking one bat and it's actually the selection I made is based off the bat that I hit in Little League which was the Easton Omen so the selection I have now is the Easton Fuse which not only looks exactly like the Easton Omen which I loved in Little League it actually is made very similar to it so both of them are a two-piece hybrid bat and for not a very big power hitter like myself Get tired of I love more of a balanced feel, you know, evenly distributed weight across there. So it will give me that bat that is really useful for just base hits and then also can give you that extra little bit of power when you need it. You know, I bet a lot of players would go for something like a Meta Prime or that really juiced orange Mako, but I decided to pick a bat that really tailored to my playing style and something that would actually benefit my game. Okay, staying with the batting theme, the next item is going to be my batting gloves and those are going to come from Bruce Bolt. So if you guys haven't seen his batting gloves, this isn't even a paid ad, but this kid started his own company and I've seen the quality on these and they're really cool. I've heard they last so long and his designs are really cool as well. So really all I look for in batting gloves is something that will keep my hands from getting torn up and that will last me a long time because you know, you get a lot of use out of batting gloves. You hit multiple times a day, multiple swings, hundreds and thousands of swings that go on. So you really need something that lasts a long time in your batting gloves. And I've heard these have done a great job in terms of quality and longevity. And I've never had them before, but I will say from the things I've researched and heard, they do a great job. Okay, and then after the batting gloves, the last thing in terms of hitting that you really have is a batting helmet, and there's honestly not much drip in batting helmets, so I'm just going to keep it really simple and go with something like an Evo Shield that will really protect me, and also there's a really nice rigid look from those, so that's what I would go with. All right, and the next thing is going to be my cleats. Now, I'm going to stick with the same cleats that I've probably used since high school, and those are the New Balance L3000s. I don't know which version these are, but... Um, they've honestly lasted me so long and they're really comfortable and I've gotten a ton of use out of them and they honestly just look really clean but um, they've done the job so that's probably what I'll stick with for my dream bag. Also in terms of footwear for those tournaments where I'm playing on turf fields, I don't have turf trainers but I would probably just get these same New Balance cleats just in the turf trainer edition. All right, now getting into the accessory type things for my sunglasses, which as a catcher, I didn't use a lot, but just whenever I was in the dugout, I would put them on, especially for those day games and long tournaments. Uh, what I rocked in high school was these uh, Oakley flak jackets. These are the 1.0s, and I think for my dream bag, I would upgrade to the flak jacket 2.0s. I think they have a much cooler look, and honestly, they look really good on my face. I have a smaller face, so these have done the job really well. My lenses on here are super scratched up, so I would definitely need some new ones. These aren't even polarized, so I think I would want something flashier, maybe some different color lenses like purple or blue, something that really pops on the field. In terms of the frames and the grips, I'd probably go with a black and white colorway. You know, I really like to stay simple, but then have those little bits of flash. So that's really my style and what I would go with in terms of sunglasses. The other accessories that I would have uh, to pair with the sunglasses are probably an Evo Shield wrist guard. I used one of these, especially when I was catching, you know, blocking balls and having them hit off your wrist is so painful, but sometimes this came in handy and for the times that I hit this, I was super thankful. And you know, black and white goes with every colorway, so who knows what team I would be playing for, but you know, this really went with uh, my high school colors, so I had a really cool design on here too. I think the plain colorways kind of get boring, so I had to get a little design on here, and I think something like this I would still use today, so that's really cool. And then on my throwing arm, I would probably have this other Evo Shield compression sleeve. Again, it has that little like triangular little design, and there's some black and gray, which goes with every team, so no matter what team I'm on, I think this would be a really cool addition, and I like some drip on the field, so this is a great addition. Okay, and the last few things, uh, just for the uniform portion, 
For socks, I've always used Nike socks, Nike Elites and stuff like that. They're really comfortable and all I need is something that will allow my feet to be comfortable, especially for those long tournaments. In terms of pants and sliding shorts, I've always used Nike as well. There's a certain pair of Nike pants I wore that had like a sort of grip uh, in the waistband so your shirt doesn't come untucked and I really like that one. I don't know the specific model, but I know I used it in high school and I really liked it and it was comfortable as well. And then for the belt to hold up the pants and kind of put everything together, I would get a custom Nakona belt. So if you guys haven't seen those before, Nakona uses that same type of ball glove leather on their belts and then you can customize it with some trim and certain colors and you can put like your name and number on the end tab. So that is really cool and I'm sure those will last a while because it's made out of similar to ball glove leather. I'm not sure if it's the exact same, but they look really high quality. So that's definitely something I would get. I love custom stuff like that and things that kind of just make you stand out on the field. So that's definitely something I would make sure to include in my fit. Okay, and then that's probably all the equipment type stuff that uh, I would use either in the game or wear on the field. But in terms of other accessories and training equipment, I always like to stretch really well before the games because I've had my pass with injuries. So I would definitely keep some uh, armbands in there just for pregame and stuff like that to stretch. You know, I'm not a pitcher, but you always have to keep your arm loose to try to stay on the field as long as possible. And then also when you're in the dugout, whether it be like when your team's hitting or in pregame, if you're just waiting on the umpires to show up for anything, you gotta have snacks. So I stay stacked on seeds and my probably go-to ones Always Bakes, they are, I think, the best tasting seeds out there, and the crack that you get from them is just the best. So my top three flavors for my seeds are probably gonna be Ranch, Dill Pickle, and Taco Supreme. So in no order, but I always try to stay stacked on seeds as much as possible. And I always have teammates asking for seeds, or used to, I don't play anymore, but I would always have teammates asking, and I was pretty generous with seeds and being a good teammate. And then besides seeds, I would also have some Big League Chew in there. Original is my favorite but whatever you like you can do whatever you want so always make sure I stay stacked up on those seeds and snacks during the game and the last thing that kind of goes with the uh, off-field accessories is going to be some headphones so whether in warm-ups or having those long bus rides for those high school games a good pair of headphones is a necessity I had some beats noise canceling headphones in high school that I would use and now I have some airpods but those are definitely awesome to just get your mind ready for the game or just to block out some noise when you're on the bus or trying to sleep or something like that. All right, you guys, and that about wraps up my entire list for my dream baseball bag. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It was something fun to make for me. And if you guys like this and wanna see some more videos like this one, make sure you leave a like down below and I'll make sure to make some more content just like this. Also, I've been putting out a few episodes of my podcast. It's called Spit and Seed. So if you guys wanna check that out, it's on YouTube as well as Apple Podcasts. Also about 80% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel so if you guys don't want to miss any uploads I post videos weekly so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Also if you want to see some more content or pictures of my gloves make sure you check out my Instagram at Goat Gloves or follow the link in the description down below. With that being said that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.